you know, unless it's like kind of like Lake Tahoe areas, which is like half of California, it's right. like kind of in California. Yeah, most times I don't see that. No. But what I want to know is yeah. this, since we're here in East Texas, yes. Carson, what's this 2021 weather looking like? That's not looking too bad, Frank. I mean, that snow that you brought from California, that's moving out of the area. I mean, again, we're not seeing any of that here in East Texas. I do want to show you what's going on in Tyler. And yeah, it does look like it snowed a little bit, but I promise you that hasn't happened. We just have those stratus clouds following the storm system. We saw lots of rain yesterday. We haven't really picked up anything today, though, because that rain has since moved out. Here are those high temperatures, though. We're talking about the cloud cover. They kept our highs constant 40s. We were lucky to hit 50 degrees in Linden. It was 56 in Hemphill, a little closer to that front 44 in Tyler, and we were at 41 in Jacksonville and it's 42. That was the high temperature for Palestine. Now the temperatures right now we're only a couple degrees cooler than what we were, and you can see we're in the 40s across the board. It was for it's 44 in Linden, 47 in Hemphill, and we still have the clouds in the area and they're here to stay throughout the overnight hours and as we head into tomorrow. Now I'm going to show you future cast, not because we have rain in the forecast, but I want to show you how long these clouds are going to last because eventually they're going to move out of the area. This is midnight cloud cover temperatures in the 40s. We're going to continue to see those temperatures fall ever so slowly by seven o'clock. Most of us are in the middle to upper 30s, maybe a few 40s with those stragglers down in deep east Texas. And then as we go into noontime, that's when we do start to see a few breaks in the clouds. Now, eastern counties, you guys are going to be cloudy through at least noon tomorrow. Heading into that five o'clock hour, that's when we do start to see the entire area starting to cash in on some of that sunshine and the clouds are for sure out of here by tomorrow night and we'll go ahead and play this through to about nine o'clock Sunday morning. If you're heading out to Canton first Mondays, temperatures 40s, 50s, you're going to be a OK, but you might want to bundle up because for those first few hours of the day, yeah, it's going to be quite chilly, but warming back into the 60s as we go into Sunday. Those are the readings at four o'clock. Let's talk about the overnight forecast again. We're falling into the middle 30s. I'm keeping the clouds in play through at least three, four, five o'clock tomorrow, and that's why our temperatures are staying in the 40s. But after that, that's when the clouds do start to decrease. Of course, the rain was with the clouds yesterday, and we shattered some of those New Year's Eve daily records. And you can see in Tyler, we picked up just under two inches of rain. Again, this does not include our Wednesday totals. This includes only our Thursday totals, which was yesterday. Just under two inches for Tyler 1.39. That was the record set back in 1988 Longview. We crushed that record. We had over two inches of rain and we had about an inch and five hundredths set back in 1967. That was the old record Lufkin. We didn't quite make it this year. One and a quarter and the old record was just over two inches. That was set back in 1944. Now let's talk about 2020. It was a very rainy year for our Tyler locations over 51 inches almost to 52. That's about six inches above normal, and we really had to use that finishing kick in Longview. Look at that 48 inches. A lot of that occurred yesterday, and that's about a half inch above what we typically see for a calendar year here in East Texas. Lufkin over 43 inches, and unfortunately we are still about five and a half below the normal for that time of year. Here's that drought monitor little change, but this came out yesterday. It took data through Tuesday, so I promise you next week's drought monitor update. We're going to start to see that moderate drought shift a little further off to the west. Mostly sunny on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, partly cloudy skies, rain with showers as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Deep East Texas, we really follow the same trend. We trend slightly warmer with 60s returning in middle 60s by Sunday afternoon. Lots of sunshine by Monday. Rachel, Frank. Thank you so much, Carson. And of course, you can always check the latest on our